2017 is the year of the hummingbird at Tucson Audubon Society and it's going to be a whole year dedicated to celebrating, exploring and supporting hummingbirds. And hummingbirds were chosen because they're such amazing special birds and Southeast Arizona is such a special place for hummingbirds. We have 13 species of hummingbirds here that you can see every single year plus four additional species that you can see on certain years that don't show up every year. I think it's wonderful. Hummingbirds are unique birds, unique creatures, and very important as pollinators and very beautiful. I think the concept of having a year of especially hummingbirds, everybody loves hummingbirds. So many people feed hummingbirds and they're very People get very attached to them, and people even get attached to hummingbirds here. <laughs> this is Annis, and she was just sitting there. So on my left here is a male broadbill sitting up in this yeah. twig over here. We're in the Hummingbird Aviary at the Desert Museum, one of the most popular exhibits we have. I think it's so popular because we have all these really tenacious, wonderful little birds coming so close to you. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. They're fascinating. They're so quick. He's just sitting there taking it in. And yet when they sit still, like that one over there, they're just beautiful. They're great flyers. They can fly forwards, backwards, sideways. They hover. The hovering is great as a hummingbird photographer as such if you want to photograph them because they sit and hover in front of the plant while they're getting the nectar. And as such, their wings are going a mile a minute, but their, their bodies are relatively stationary. And you can get some really good photographs that way. This is a magnificent hummingbird. I photographed this one in Madeira Canyon. So this is a pretty cool bird, and that coloration, uh, you only see it under certain lighting conditions. As a photographer, you kind of wait and Hopefully you'll get the shot at the second before it moves and you lose that color again, that red color on the, uh, on the head. One of the things we're doing are going to be several art contests throughout the year. One focusing on writing, one on photography, and one on art. Gosh, I see hummingbirds so much in art. A lot of it's going to be, they're so beautiful, the beauty of hummingbirds, the beautiful colors that shine on the males. They're just gorgeous birds. But they're also very compelling. We um, are making a big push for folks to make their yards as bird friendly as possible planting native vegetation, putting out hummingbird feeders, as well as we have a list of uh, the, the best plants to create food for hummingbirds that you can put right in your yard. You could put as much work into it as you want or as little. It's not that much work and they do better than trying to plant non-native plants and they need less water which is important in the desert. This is a great plant to attract native pollinators. This is a chuparosa. And this is the yellow variety, but it also comes in orange. But one reason to plant a variety of plants, and especially plants for pollinators, is to see these animals in your backyard. And then we also have an interactive map on our website where if you create a hot spot, meaning making your yard friendly for hummingbirds, you can submit that onto our map just so we can see how many people in Tucson are actively trying to help hummingbirds. Birders love to keep lists of all the different species and the places where they um, have seen them before. And all of that data helps scientists give us better information about how we can conserve and protect our natural environment as well. Not just scientists, anybody can get involved and report bird, hummingbirds that they're seeing. Guess how much they weigh? Well, you can actually pull a coin out of your pocket, three grams. That's the weight of the small hummingbirds we have in here. 
a lot of people don't have any idea how many insects they eat, and they eat about half of their body weight in food a day. That's huge. Hummingbirds uh, build their nests mostly from spider's webs, and they put a little bit of you know lichen or leaves in there to uh, camouflage it, but it's mostly spider webs. And they make them out of spider webs so that the nest can stretch as the babies grow. We got these little tiny eggs that are about the size of a Tic Tac, which is incredible. That ends up being a bird. <laughs> they have some negative characteristics, like uh, the males do not have anything to do with raising the babies, <laughs> and they are, they are promiscuous, uh, which some people may think is a good thing, and <laughs> it just depends how you look at it. I think they're whimsical. I think that hummingbirds have this magical quality. You can be out just enjoying your day, especially in Arizona, and you look over and you just see this thing, and you look over and it's a hummingbird. They're just incredible creatures. We call them our winged wonders here. 